Hello dear learners, I hope you are keeping safe and doing the best wherever you are. I hope also you are taking all the precautions which are supposed to be taken so that you remain safe. Today we continue with our, our series of lessons that I have been taking you through. And last time when I was with you, I, I was tackling the topic on perimeter of a track, that is grade 7 revision topic. I said more in grade 7 we are going to deal with revision topics so that at least we get to know more of what is expected of us. Today I will not go to details of what we did last time. I'm going directly to what we are supposed to do today. Today I would like us to get the idea that we can have a whole track and we can also have a half track. That brings us to our lesson of today perimeter of a half track. As you can see on the board, I have brought those half tracks, as you can see them. Some can have semicircles which are bulged from outside, others can have semicircles which are bulged in the inside, and therefore it is all the same, as long as we will understand what the concept is. If I look at my diagram, this is how a half a track looks like. I have said it can be barred, the same example can be barred from outside or inscribed inside as it is. If you look at this one, we have the diameter on this side, then we have two lengths. Remember, this semicircle we have to get a full it. So we see perimeter is equal to half pi d for this part plus length this plus another length this. And remember, diameter is also line. So we also add our diameter. Whereby, we, will, we, we don't want to keep talking about length and width, because this is a track. We, we are more of talking of diameter, which represents the track, the half, the, the, the semicircular parts of the, the track. Therefore, if you can see the formula, I know it is not hard to put it in your head. I have pi d plus l, plus L plus D. That is what we are going to use to do the five examples that we are having. If you are there, please, I'll do the first example. As I continue doing number two and number three, you'll be attempting number four and number five so that we, we, we consolidate our lessons and see and we agree that we are all set. In our number one, we are going to say perimeter. Remember, writing the formula is very important. So we are going to say a half pi d plus l plus l plus diameter. A half times 22 over 7 times 35. You can put this into brackets for easier way of solving it. Plus 55 plus 55 plus 35. By 7, 1, by 7, 5, by 2, 1, by 2, 11. So we have 55 plus 55 plus 55 plus 35. Mostly, people forget to add this. They can go this far, but forget to add 30, 35. So, when we add this, we are supposed to get 200 centimeters. 200 centimeters. I hope that is clear and you can get to know. Let's go to our example number two. Again, I have said perimeter is equal to a half pi, a half pi d, which you can put into bracket plus L plus L plus D, which is for diameter. Whereby we are talking about a half times 22 over 7 times 42 plus 59 plus 59 plus 42. By 7, 1, by 7, 7. I'm sorry, by 7, 6. By 2, 1, by 2, 11. Remember we are simplifying. And if you cannot simplify by 7, it means you can use uh, 3.14. So here we shall have 66 plus 59 plus 59 plus 42. When you add this, this is supposed to give you 226 centimeters. Dear Lana, I hope you are following and I hope that it is getting clear to you. Dear Lana, having done the two examples, I believe you have seen the trend. The trend continues like that. It can, I have, as I had said, 
this the, the semicircle can be outside or uh, inside the, the figure. So we are having this as perimeter again is a half pi d plus length plus length plus diameter. Whereby we are talking about a half times 22 over 7 times 49 plus 66 plus 66 plus 49. Uh, are you there, dear Lana? So by 7, 1, by 7, 7. By 2, 1, by 2, 11. So this will give you 77 plus 66 plus 66 plus 49. I say it mostly people forget to add this line. They forget. And others, it is the line that confuses them completely. But always remember to add it because it is the diameter as it is, there is no semicircle there. So when you add, you get 258 centimeters. Dear Alan, as I was starting my example number one, I talked about you attempting number four. I hope you have tried to attempt number four. Therefore, without wasting much time, let's see if you got it correct. Perimeter is equal to a half pi d plus length plus length plus diameter. A half times 22 over 7 times uh, 56 plus 80 plus 80 plus 56. By 2, 1, by 2, 11, by 7, 1, by 7, 8, this is giving us 88 plus 80 plus 80 plus 56. This one will give us, this one will give us 304 centimeters. 304 centimeters. Dear Lana, I will not attempt number five for you. Please try to see, if you attempt, I'll give you a final answer here. If you attempt this question, try and see that you will get 344 centimeters. If you attempt and get 344, be sure you have understood the concept. Dear Alan, without much ado, I wish you to leave you to leave you at that point. Whereby I hope you are still practicing more and more different sums, different areas, so that you are able to calculate the sums. Well, even when you come back to school. Dear Lana, I wish you all the best. Stay safe. Clean your hearts regularly. Remember to keep social distance. All the best. God bless you.